Yo, what's good producers? It's your boy Mikasa here. In this video, I'm about to show you guys one of the greatest plugins that I received. It's called Shaperbox 3. Uh, this plugin is from is from uh, Cable Guys. So yeah, uh, this plugin, as you can guys see, comes with uh, all the effects in one in one VST. Like you can you can guys see like all these effects here, like filter, noise, drag, time. And they are they are just made they're just put into one VST so guys you don't have to waste time maybe looking for a special effect for example if you want to use filter you don't have to maybe open EQs and stuff like that so you can maybe just use this one and you will have everything in this menu here so yeah guys I just want to show you how this uh, works what are the what you about the effects you can use guys because I, I didn't even use all of that because this plugin has a lot to offer bro so we can check it out first of all i'm about to start first oh these are some uh basic uh menu settings scale is where you can you can just like adjust your user interface and stuff you can make some your own pieces and stuff but yeah first of all uh, i want to guys show you these presets here because this is one of the best things i like here because you got all these presets here and as you can see there's a lot a lot of presets for each like let's say maybe type of the effect let's say like that for example i have like a half time here and i have like a lot of effects here uh, based on half time mixed with the old other effects for example all these colors are some of the effects so maybe let's check it out I'm about to put this loop here. Let's check check this one. Sounds hard. But yeah, let's put it on channel rack 5. And let's use some of these presets here. Let's go to half time here. And maybe let's use this one. Of course, you have to you can also manually work with, with all these. You can add them manually and you can also edit them. You can maybe you can as well customize them. For example, you can apply this preset here and then you can customize each effect. But let's hear how this sounds like with this one. Let's maybe check another one. This one sounds hard, very, very hard. This is super super cool for example if you want to maybe arrange our beats you know and that stuff maybe to make some cool intro we can definitely use this one automate it and make very cool simple intro so it's a classic oh this one sounds fire sounds crazy right uh, of course i don't have to use only half time here i can get you like a reverse for example this one. of course guys i'm just using this on the loop so you can guys maybe just see clearly wow these effects are working so yeah as you can guys see, you can just click here and you can see all these presets here, which is super, super crazy. Now you can guys check out by yourself. I'll put the link in the description for this plugin so you guys may, so you can guys check it by yourself. Also got these noises and stuff. So you can, I'll just guys leave it to you to check out all these presets. Now how it looks like to add some things manually. For example, let's say you want to add some reverb. Now you can just click, click, click uh, simply click here on the plus button, click here, and choose your effect. For example, let's say you want to add a reverb. Simply click on that, and also one of the craziest things as well, you can have like a, you can all see all these presets for each effect. For example, I just used here uh, reverb, but all I got here as well like are these uh, reverb presets. Maybe let's just ch uh, check one, this one. And of course, like you can now manually adjust the frequencies here, the volume, the decay, the size, dry and wet, pre-delay, all these things you can adjust manually. Of course, you got you got these lines here, you know, 
synths that you can work with, you know. And like I, these are just, of course, like a, some kind of a presets. You have these rhythms here. And of course, you can do them manually. Just simply click and add it manually as you like it. So as I said, you can add them manually as you like it. Now, if you want to add more effects, simply click this button, uh, click, simply click this plus button and you can add any other effect. Now we can maybe add some filter here. Just click on the filter. And of course, you got filter types here. Now let's say I just want to, you can guys check it manually. Of course, playing with these scenes here. Stereo, mono, do whatever you want, resistance. Of course, this is something that I will definitely use maybe in my melodies, sometimes in the mixing, in the arrangement as well. Definitely for the arrangement. As I said, guys, I didn't try all of these effects here because this plugin has a lot to offer. Now, we got some noise here. I will definitely. I will definitely use this noise because I'm usually making lo-fi music and as you can guys see you got this a lot of uh, uh, old sounding you know crackies and stuff noises which are super super cool for lo-fi music of course let me turn off the filter here of course I need some chill melody but on this one on chill melodies this, wo no, this noise will sound crazy and of course for each effect you have like a different type of the effects for example this one we got the noise like how much we are going to add this noise pitch i didn't even try it i didn't even see this pitch trim of course presets for the of course we got the also these presets for each you know noise which is super super cool also but uh we got drive we got the liquid got crush also lo-fi beats i will definitely use this volume sidechain this is super super cool for mixing of course panning for the mixing maybe you can like add some hi-hats and use this panning because i'm about to definitely use this more we uh i'm definitely going to use more in this vst and i can definitely make more videos about it so with stereo mono also super super crazy plugin compression oscilloscope we can we can track the frequencies here what is going on so basically we got the full wave file of the melody which is super super cool okay guys that's pretty much it that that was pretty much quick introduction to this plugin as i said guys this plugin has a lot of to offer so i'll definitely make more videos even making maybe makes uh the beats or maybe mixing the track only using this plugin if you're about to see that but yeah that's gonna be it guys for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like subscribe button and yeah i'm about to see you in the next video